We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 23 The Devil's Workshop Part 3 of 3 This way. We're getting further from the main building. Of course, there are doors. Or in some basement. How do you know? Because I've seen the generators before. We drove by them. Well, maybe we should radio back and let them know what we're doing. They aren't listening. It wouldn't change a thing. And we don't know if this will work. Here, look, another map. I'm just saying, you might want to tell them in case they decide to take a dirt nap. Shut up. Through that door. I think we made the wrong turn. No, no, this is right. Look at this door. What do they keep in here? I don't like it. It doesn't smell right. We're not even close to the main building anymore. Where are we? Uh, here, there's a sign. Kane Mental Hospital. I bring relief to troubled minds. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't remember this being on the map. It wasn't on the map. Or it wasn't labeled. Then we turn around. Did our route take us through here? We can find a way around. No, let's just do this. You wanted to go this way, your lead. Oh, is that blood? It might be. Keep walking. Oh, God. The first hallway was normal, but when we turned the corner, this one was bathed in blood. Streaks crossed the floor, marked with hand and barefoot prints, trails that many people had been drugged through here. Bits of hair and skin were clamped into the dried pools on the floor. Several of the rooms had shattered windows and doors ripped completely off. It smelled of rotting flesh, just like the arena. We need to turn around. Toughen through this, just a little blood. What happened here? Is happening. Some of this is fresh. What is that? What are we stepping on? I don't know. But there's a whole bunch of them. It's a nail. It doesn't feel like metal. No, like finger. Ugh. Ugh. Let me see. God, I'm nasty. Keep going. Someone trimming a Great Dane round here? It's been cut. Just leave it. There's more, look. Aren't you curious? No. In one of the rooms, a set of bloody clippers and files were on the table. Next to it, black pools mixed with red were plastered around a pointed silver pen attached to a little motor and battery. What is that? Let's just go, okay? You're right. We don't have time. The end of the hall is right there. Let's get out of here. There's a needle on it. Let's just get the hell out of here! Oh, God. This just keeps getting weirder. Kalani and I stared into the next room. The door was laying in the hallway, and the entire frame around the door had been broken out. Inside, a blood-soaked bed was surrounded by countless needles and a broken glass. We started to look closer when... What? Someone's coming. Get to the back door. We slowly made it to the large metal door at the end of the hallway. It was slightly open already with a key in the lock. Kalani opened it. As I crept past, he removed the key from the door. We were halfway through when we saw the silhouette of someone at the end of the hall. They confidently walked and stood in the center of the hallway. After that, they stood like a statue. Who is that? Back up slowly and get behind the door. Who? It's him. From the arena. The fucker survived. Then shoot him! It's loud! Then I will! You missed! No! I didn't! Look! I sent the arrow straight at his heart. I stood and watched as the figure continued to remain perfectly still. I thought somehow I missed. Then, as his arm moved to become etched in the silhouette, I saw he was holding my arrow in his disfigured hand. 
That's not possible! Get out the door! Move! How did he do that? What's that? Something or someone nasty. Just go! I think I locked it in there. Just lucky he didn't call others. Why didn't they call others? It's from the arena? You could tell? Pretty damn sure. We'll need to find another way back to the helicopter. I'm not going through that place again. We need to get the hell out of here. Well, we're through it. And we will find another way back, but we're not leaving. Did you see that back there? I say we go, and seeing as I'm the only one who can fly that damn- ah! Well, seeing how you're worthless on the ground, you'll never make it to the helicopter unless you follow me. I'm not worthless. I'm just hesitant to shoot. Don't hold that against me. I don't want to draw attention. Look, there they are. And are you sure those are them? How do you know? Read the sign. Emergency generators. But will they still work? They probably ran out of gas after the power went. We have to try. Oh, man, these are big. Makes ours look puny. Just check, okay? This one's dry. So it's this one. Wait. Not this one. There's still fuel in it. I don't think it was ever turned on. But will it? I don't think this one powers the main building. So which ones do? These two, I'm guessing. M1, M2. How do we get the gas from that one to these two? Find a hose. We'll siphon it. But we need to hurry. Switch out. No, I'm okay. Let me just change. Let me just change my grip. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, get to the chopper like in Predator, right? What? What you said to them earlier? No, that was just coincidence, is all. Oh. You think they'll tire out? Those things out there. No. They'll just wait us out. Like they did to me at my gun shop where you found me. My thoughts exactly. So why don't we just do it now? I mean, before things get worse and we get weak or tired, I want to kill as many of them as I can before... You know. I want to hear the helicopter first. You know, so I know they made it. It won't be long now, surely. What if they don't get to it? Just relax, all right? It'll, it'll come when it comes. Hey, what was that? Is that the helicopter, you think? I, I don't know. It could be. I can't hear much, much over this. Yeah, well, I'm gonna... I'll assume it's, uh, it's what it was. It's, uh, it's going on a positive note. You, uh, ready? I'll let go of the handle. Just buy me enough time to grab my rifle. Yeah, well, Shirley and I can do that. Ready? We'll go on three. One. Two. How the hell do you work this C4 thing of yours? Is it on a timer or what? Why aren't you in the chopper? What the hell are you doing? I told you to get out of here! Don't you see the emergency lights on? No, they're not on in here. Just tell me how this damn thing works. It's a, it's a special rig. Just don't mess it up. You'll blow yourself up. Just tell me. I didn't expect to see this rat's nest of wire. What the hell is this black box thing? Wait, emergency lights? Then what was the sound we heard? Yeah, what was that sound? The elevator. We don't have much time. Ah, crap. Stop it, hurry. Get into the elevator. Okay, we're coming up. We've got a clear path here now. The elevator? They got the generators running? You, you got the generators running, didn't you? Yes, but we don't have much time. We have to spread the fuel. How are they going to clear the door and not blow us the hell up too? They're insane. How much C4 is in there? No, this'll work. This is just what I made it for. Okay, Kalani, 
Flip that red switch on the side and make sure the two walkie-talkies that are attached, they're on. Got it. What now? I'll do the rest. When you get to our floor, toss it as far as you can down the other end of the hall away from us. What, what, what? But that won't... Trust me. Oh, and uh, what, what channel are each of the walkies on? Whatever you do, stay off that particular channel, okay? Okay, red is on 2-1, blue is on 8-2. But they'll get attacked the minute they get up there. The elevators are far enough down the hall. Oh, once you toss it, go up a floor and hit the emergency stop, okay? Got it. No matter what you do, do not come back down until after the boom. And stay off the radio, okay? No problem. Problem. I don't understand. We're not throwing it at the things outside the door. I don't know either, but he rigged it up and I don't want to blow myself up. Gotta trust him. Here goes. Ready? Ready. Bombs away! Up, 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 up. Okay, we're good. Help! Anybody! Help! Help! Bert? No, no, wait. We, we have to go back down there. He said to wait. Please! They're coming! Somebody help me! For the love of God! We need to! You heard him! But, wait! But... What did he do? Get down here and bring the elevator back. On it! What did he do? Hurry! Close it! Left side! Keep hitting it! Keep them back! Top floor coming up right to the hell of head. Oh, you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. What was that? I used one walkie to lure him in, and then switched the channel to the other, and then boom! <laughs> Let me guess. You saw that in a movie. Well, point of fact, I did. Want to guess which one? <laughs> I don't care. As long as it worked. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if the helicopter wasn't there? What is wrong with you? Why would you say that? Well, <laughs> no reason. Just. <laughs> I'm just so glad you're safe. Really? Me? Uh, both of you. Well, we told you to leave. Way to listen. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Really smart with the generator thing. How'd you- Riley's do? idea. There really wasn't any other good way to get to the helipad otherwise. Two birds, one stone. This is really a slow elevator. We had to move quickly because there wasn't much fuel left. Even now, I don't know if it will- Crap. What did I touch? I don't know. Are we stuck? No, 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 no. We're here. Come on. This way. There it is! It's a bell. Oh, it's perfect. Through the glass sliding doors at the end of the hall, we saw it. It was pristine. The white helicopter had a solid blue tail with a red stripe down the middle. The blades were tied down and the wheels had chalk blocks around them holding it in place. But it looked as perfect as I could have imagined it. Angel, take out the chocks. I'll free the blades. Bert, you and Riley find the keys. I think they'll be at the desk by the door. Here's some. Here, take these out for them to try. Got it. All right, I'll keep looking in case those don't work. Here's a few more. We found us that they work. Leave those. Come on. They're coming. Get that thing ready. I am. Hurry, there's nothing to stop them between us and the chopper. Yeah, there is. Me. We're almost there! 
people back! I'm almost out! He's waving to us! Riley, go! Okay! Bert, get ready to run, okay? Ready! Go! Picked up off the ground just in time. Kalani was shouting things to us, but I couldn't remember what they were. But I have a clear recollection of the large smiles that spanned everybody's faces. Below, I could see the masses of flesh biters watching us as we flew away. I almost accepted my death for the third time in my life. Maybe there was a reason I was still here after all of this. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, Penguin, where the hell have you been? You coming back yet? There's a lot of people here worried about you. Yeah, I'll be coming back soon. I just had to check some places. Right now, the place where they came from first, you know? Eastern Bay, yeah, I got you. Come on. I didn't want to have to say it. Well, you pretty much already did. Fine. Then tell the others it's empty, and I'm coming home. Got it. I'll let Broken Wing know. Out. Ness, can you hear me? Vulture, are you on this channel? Alright, I know you're out there. I know you're listening. Answer me. Darai or whatever the hell your name is. Answer me. I'm not going to stop till you do. Yeah. I knew someone was listening. What's it to you? You have someone close to me. And I want her back. What if I got someone you want? Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason. Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Jenna McCombie, Kevin Flood, Shirley Jordan, and Jane Lee Hotch. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Sock, and K.C. Wayland. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions.